the light and rejoice for what you have done in this place on this day. This year, what we have to do. We thank you for Jesus that was born and died on the cross, Lord, to give us salvation. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for everyone that has come in, everyone that well, we're praying for, everyone that could not come, Lord. It is joy to the world. And those whose hearts are saddened by you. Uh, unexpected things, Lord, bring joy, knowing that Jesus is still joy. Yes. And all we do is say, Lord, let it be done to your glory and your honor in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Reading from the Holy Word, beginning at the 28th verse. We want to talk about Simeon. Then to Peter him up in his arms and bless God and say, Lord, now let us thou servant depart in peace according to my word. For my eyes have seen thy salvation, which hath been prepared before the face of all people. And the 32nd verse reads, A light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people. Israel. Our subject is very short. Making room for Jesus. Making room for Jesus. God had made Simeon the prophet a promise that he would not go to glory until he had seen the Messiah, the Jesus, his own son. And now that he has seen him, he can say, Lord, I, I'm ready. You took your promise, and I am ready to go. And he has made room for himself, for Jesus. The Holy Ghost sees death before he had seen it. The Holy Ghost had led Simeon to the temple, to the church, to the place where God meets his people. The Holy Ghost and led him to the temple on a particular day, at a particular time, in a particular way. Yes. The time that he knew that Jesus would be here. I truly believe that Jesus has been in this place this morning. And it was not because of our glory, but it was because of the Holy Ghost leadership that's taken charge this morning. Amen. But as we thought about it, we prayed about it, we meditated about this particular scripture, we know that God has sat in heaven and watched his son. He watched his son come to glow, come from glory as a baby. He watched his son take on flesh. He watched his son be wrapped up in swaddling clothes. Yes. I mean, this is God's son. Yes. We watched his son as son as Mary gave birth to him, he watched his son when the angels sang about him, glowing. He watched his son. This is God's own son. The, at the, before he was even born, he was named, he was named, and they called his name Jesus. But this is the Son of God who left his heavenly portals to come down to be born in a lowly estate where all of us have been at one time or another and to let us know that he knows just how we think, how we feel, what we need, where we go. And he said, wherever you go, I will be with you. Amen. Just make room for Jesus. Amen. We watched God's son as life was fulfilled in him, but now the angels have sung, the shepherds have come, their mother and father, uh, father in the word has come, but he's not legal yet. So he's got to go to the temple according to the Mosaic law. Now they have to take him to the temple. You know, when you go to get your license, you've got to have five pieces of something so to show that you are who you are. Amen. Well, he had to go to the temple so that he could be circumcised first in eight days. And 33 days later, then they had to take him to the temple and take their sacrifice. When we came to this altar today, we brought ourselves as a sacrifice to the Lord. Thanking him for what he has already done, what he's doing there, and even what he's going to do. And God is still watching if we make room. Some people had to tighten up at 
the altar, making room. Somebody, when it came up to sing, they had to find the page, get in tune. But God was watching as we were doing it all to make room for Jesus. And John 3, 16 says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And God made room in our lives that we can worship him and give him glory. Oh, uh, that second, second, thirty second verse says, A light to shine upon the Gentiles and the glory of the people. And that's me, the little ones. Uh, uh, Dr. Downs ran up and gave the little guys a hymn book so they could feel they're joining in with the brothers. That's he made a room for everybody to join in. Sister, Sister Roberts came up, senior citizen had made room for her at the altar. That is what God sent his son to do, to make room for us in any circumstance. Amen. And that is why we are here, to make room for Jesus in the lives of not only ourselves, but others. Verse 34, that when God kept his promise, and God always keeps his promise, Amen. when God kept his promise, brought Simeon to the temple at the right time, in the right place. And he looked up and he saw this young couple coming in, bringing that baby. And he wanted to see who this baby was. And when he looked at it, God had told him deep down in his soul that this is the Christ child. This is the one that I promised you. This is the Messiah that has come to save not only the Jews from their sin, but the Gentiles, and that's you and me. Anybody that is not a Jew, made room for Jesus. When you go to court and you need your identification, they're going to say, state your name. And when he went and they into the temple and stated his name, but when he put it in the arms of Simeon and looked on his child, and he was the other witness beside the shepherds, beside the angels, yes. beside the parents, yes. beside the animals. Yes. There was another witness. The word said, well, two or three gathered in, uh, in my name. I will be in the midst of yes. And yes. when they gathered together in that temple, God was in the midst of Well, we just want to know this morning that there is room at the altar yes. always for you. Yes. And Jesus didn't stay a baby all his life. He grew up just like these other young brothers and growing up. He grew up to be a man. Yes. 30 years later, he was getting prepared to take on the sin of the world, to die on a Roman cross, and they had room at the cross for Jesus. Yes. I want you to know that he hung there There's room, making room for Jesus. We know that David was able to give his son all the wealth of the world. Gave it to him and Solomon was one of the richest men that ever lived. But he couldn't give what Jesus could give his everlasting life. Amen. So God, as he looked out over the portals of glory and saw that there was room for the cross for you and for me, he says that somebody that doesn't know Jesus this morning will make room in their soul if you just tell them that Jesus is yet alive. Amen. He's making room for Jesus in the community, in the houses of this people that live in this city, in the churches, making room. In Sunday school this morning, we talk about the Pharisees and the scribes were making their own interpretations of what says the Lord. But God said, I will take, take me at my word. If you trust me, if I make a promise to you, just make room in your soul for me because Amen. I'm going to be you. He said that I will be with you for the sixth hour and the seventh, I will not leave you alone. Asking simply this morning, have you made room in your life for Jesus this morning? And yet you make room that somebody else can step in and step up and step over into a new dimension. God's plan didn't stop with the baby. It didn't even stop at the cross. 
But one day when we leave here, there is a room in eternity that God's already made room for Amen. us. If there is one this moment in this place yeah. at this time that needs to make a little bit more room for Jesus in your life, yeah. when a problem comes up, it's good to tell sister, brother, neighbor, friend, but it's good to tell Jesus yeah. because he will answer and he will hear when you pray. Don't be afraid to be on your knees praying and some unusual chance and chances come into your life. First thing you do, the prophet and prophetess, when they walked in, the first thing they did was say, thank you, Jesus. Don't be afraid to say, thank you, Jesus, I'm making room right now. I know that someone in this place somewhere has made another determination to make room for Jesus in your life. And we give God the glory Amen. as we stand. And this is the worst church for losing your musicians. They just disappear. <laughs> they just disappear. Just disappear. So let me start singing a hymn as we extend the invitation. Just say, let's sing. They just disappear. Lord, we make it room for the organist and the pen as we stand in place. Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Lord.
forevermore. And as we say the grace, we thank you for the food that has been prepared for the nourishment of our bodies. Let us be a blessing to others as you have been to us. In Jesus' name. Oh! 